Man, Georgia is loading up on the perimeter. Let's talk about it after the stinger. It's Felix Sharp at Sharp Review on Twitter for campus cantcom I hope you like the video. I hope you like the content that we're putting out. We're just a small independent brand trying to get to 3,000 subscribers before the end of the year. We got like nine days left. Hit the like button and subscribe to the channel and uh, help us get to that goal. Georgia is loading up on the perimeter, something similar to what they did last year in the transfer portal. But I think that the talent that they're bringing in this year is probably just a notch better. Of course, today they bring in, what, the 6'3", 215-pound Colby Young from Miami. That's in addition to they already brought in the uh, freshman from Vanderbilt, London Humphreys. These are two trees, both of them six foot three. London Humphreys about 185 or so. He can stretch the field a little bit. Colby Young presents like this back shoulder physical after the catch tough to tackle type. Georgia, it feels to me, is doing what Alabama did just a little bit when they switched from Jalen Hurts to Tua Tungavialoa, where now we might see more of an emphasis on the offensive side of the ball. You got those two guys. You got Oscar Delp, who people are going to find out about next year. And then, uh, of course, we could have uh, Lad McConkey come back if he doesn't enter the transfer portal. Lad McConkey can play everywhere, but between these three, he probably be, would be situated in the slot. I know that Carson Beck wants to throw the ball downfield. I thought that he would do that last year with Arian Smith, one of the fastest players in the country. You get these two guys who can get open, you know, provide some of that back shoulder fade security just because of their length. Carson Beck should be right there with, you know, probably um, Jalen Milrow as a Heisman front runner next year. Put those two uh, one and two. And I can see Georgia passing the ball a little bit more in neutral game scripts with the weapons that they have outside. I mean, in this new SEC they are going to create mismatches all over the place. And again, and that's if Lad McConkey comes back. I thought that Colby Young could potentially head to Penn State because they need a wide receiver. But Georgia really didn't. They really didn't. And Kirby Smart goes ahead and he gets Colby Young. He's somebody that I liked with Tyler Van Dyke at Miami. I think I like him just that much more with Carson Beck here in Georgia. But, man, stock up for Carson Beck. Stock, stock up for Colby Young. Uh, at the website at campusdecan.com, he's my wide receiver 41. I think just below Juice Wells, who also transferred. Um, yeah, just below Juice Wells, just above South Carolina's Nick Harbor and uh, Xavier Henderson who, from Cincinnati, who's going to go to the NFL. Georgia fans, y'all are keep you gonna you're keeping it rolling, but it's a it feels like in a different kind of way where the emphasis is offense. They will be able to beat teams forty to thirty five if they get into those types of matchups. Not that they will, because that defense is still going to be solid. I'm we're not even done in the transfer portal cycle, and Georgia has already added two, you know. Good complementary weapons. That's the other thing that I like about what they're doing offensively is that London Humphreys, uh, Colby Young, Oscar Delp, none of their skill sets are duplicative. And again, if they add Lad McConkey, if he comes back, I don't even want to say the name of the player that I think Lad McConkey reminds me of. But the guy that used to play with J.J. Po J. J. Watt up in uh, Ypsilanti, not Ypsilanti, in, uh, in uh, Mount Pleasant. Used to play with J.J. Watt in Mount Pleasant. That's who Lad McConkey reminds me of. Um, Georgia fans, let me know what you think about this edition and just overall your feelings on the your transfer portal class. It is solid. I think Carson Beck's stock is up. Again, I had him as a, as a Heisman Trophy uh, dark horse last year. He's going to be a front runner this year. Let me know what you think in the comments. Like the video. Subscribe to the channel. Help us get to 3K. We've got nine days left. Peace.